uh, hi everyone welcome to this session so let's solve this very interesting interview question so you can find this type of question in your interview and this type of question mainly look like open-ended question like you can assume anything and you can start solving okay so that is how the open-ended question is okay so let's assume very easy assumptions Let's let's say all the devices are same okay so all the devices are same okay that is our first assumption and what we can do uh, like what can be our other other answer so let's assume some number okay let's say your uh, bd can be 10 volt okay the threshold voltage of each mosfet is let's say 1 volt okay and we have to select like we have to choose what is the i1 and i2 okay so how we can go proceed so you can assume anything okay so let's say we are assuming first case i1 is greater than i2 okay i1 is greater or let's say very very greater than i2 okay whatever it is yeah so if our i1 is greater than i2 so that is this current is much like greater than this current right so now we can see so these two are in the current mirror because both of the source is connected to the ground and gate is connected together okay so both of these having same bgs and let's mark it m1 and it is m2 so m1 and m2 always are in current mirror okay when they both are in saturation always correct okay and and this is i forget to mention this, so this is the analog block so we want to we want to we want to find what is the current flowing through this analog block i a b okay okay so now so if this current is large i want so there will be a larger vgs correct because if you okay so if you write the equation so you will be getting so vgs equal to nothing but i think it will be 2id mu on c ox w over l plus v10 okay so my point is your vgs will increase with increase in the uh, id that's it okay that is the mean okay and you can check the formula as well so i don't mind if the formula is wrong but yeah so your if the current is increasing the vgs will increase okay so this vgs is actually increasing and this what about this vgs it's a vgs of 3 and it is 1 2 so this vgs will be very very lesser right and again this is connected to the ground and this is this is the floating node we don't know how much voltage here it will come okay and we will try to predict it okay like the more like main ultimate thing is this is not in the current mirror right for sure till now okay till now we have to predict what is the voltage here okay yeah and if this is a sufficient larger voltage so m1 and m2 will be in the current mirror, okay so that much we know so now if this is very large okay and this is very low this vgs so this voltage will try to make it low okay very very low correct again you can think about so if this voltage is larger this voltage will try to decrease and if this voltage is low, lower if this voltage will try to make it lower okay you know these previous things okay so now every condition is making that that vx node is trying to go down okay correct so now if this is go down so this transistor not in the saturation okay so it will go into the triode region okay triode so so in the triode region you know the mosfets act as a resistor right so now if, if i redraw the circuit you will be finding for this case so this is an analog block this i1 is actually very very greater than i2 okay and you have a circuit like this and okay sorry so this will be your circuit so this is i2 okay yeah so all connected in the vdd this is i2 and again so what is your ion you can assume your ion let's say one milliampere and your i2 can be one microamp okay so this is the our assumption okay yeah so it is our analog block this is vdd and we need to find what is the current ib ab okay and this is your mass okay yeah and this is your m2 so this voltage is going down correct so now what do you think so this voltage in the triode and it acts as a resistance right so r1 let's say this current is actually too large this much is large and with some some like minimal or w over l it will get the r1 as 1 over 
mion c ox w over l vgs minus vtn right so our vgs minus vtn term is actually too large so it is making very low impedance okay so what what will happen then so actually this node will try to make is closer to zero okay so this node vx node will try to make it close to zero so it is a very small resistance that is the all fillings we have huh? and this is controlled by this vg right so this r on 2 is actually very very less so this node is making very very less voltage here so it is trying to be ground okay so now these two mosfet let's say m3 i think it was yeah so m3 and m4 now is in current mirror okay so the minimum current like this was i1 it was large current and i2 was the minimum like minimum of these two currents so this i2 will try to flow here okay so these two in the current mirror okay so this two in the current mirror m3 and m4 so it will try to flow this i2 here from this node so your iab will become i2 that is nothing but on micro according according to our assumptions okay okay now it is fine now now we can take the reverse case as well right so yeah so we can assume i2 is very very greater than i1 now okay now what will happen so again i am drawing this is i1 it is actually very very less it is your ab analog block Okay, so it resembles my name as well, Omid Bar. Okay, so yeah, this is a funny thing. So as this current is too low, as this current is too low, so this VGS will be very very lower. Okay, this VGS will be very very lower. Okay, now what about this? This VGS as this current is very very high again i am taking i2 equals 1 milli and i1 as 1 micro okay so it is too high so it will be very very larger of vgs correct so now this node will be try to increase due to that that is high and as this node is very very low this node will try to increase so if for, for these two cases this node voltage vx is try to increase then what will happen so these two these two m1 and m2 is good in both are in the saturation so this m1 and m2 will be in the current mirror okay current mirror so this this current will be copying that node okay that branch and this current is nothing but that current iab and this this m4 will go into the prior region okay so again so we are assuming so let's say this voltage is very 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 high so it can trying to make it this off okay so we are not assuming that we are we are assuming that this mode is sufficiently large but this is actually one okay it can put sufficient of resistance okay it is not off actually right okay so anyone can think that this vgs is actually a very very large so yeah so if it is too much large so it is not getting sufficient threshold voltage to turn on so this is not the case we are assuming so it will be in the linear region m4 okay it is in the triode region so now again the minimum current will be flowing from the ab correct because your a2 is 1 milli so at this condition as well so your iab will be equal to i1 so it is the minimum so now we can see that this iab iab is the minimum of minimum of i1 and i2 correct and we are assuming i1 the difference between i n and i2 so the mod difference between i n and i2 is very very larger than one okay yeah or or any unit okay yeah let's say on micro okay yeah so we are assuming that okay okay now the fun part is what will happen at uh, i1 equals i2 okay so uh okay let's not solve that so it is for you you can solve it let's say your i1 equal to i2 then what will happen okay so let's 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 have it as your work uh, like homework okay home task yeah i think this is a pretty good circuit for any interviewer again you can you can play with some changing the w r l of each mos okay so that is a, that is your part okay yeah thank you